I'm waiting a week to get these chips and I have seen reviews all over the internet about them so I'm very excited I just picked these up in my haul I'm gonna go through these two bags two six rolls of toilet paper and some flowers but we're gonna jump into this and these chips before I do please like and subscribe and let's start tasting some of this new everything but the bagel seasoned kettle cooked potato chips The moment we have all been waiting for. And this was this was in the $106.28 haul. Uh, okay, someone said these taste like the Maui um, like onion chips, which I really hope so because those things are amazing. This is what they look like on the inside. Super yummy. They, they've really knocked it out of the park with the branding on this. Like something about a white bag of potato chips, like it looks like a giant bag of the seasoning. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'm thinking. When you open the bag, you smell, you get wafted with onion, and that's not a bad thing. And then when you see it's still happening, it's still happening. There's still a lot of flavors going on in my mouth. I just I just got some garlic undertones. You definitely taste pepper. The thing is you want to go back for another one because we have to do this. We're gonna revisit this. Uh-huh. Mm. Something about this. You just kind of surrender. You're surrendering to the, these are delicious. I'm a big fan. And I'm very happy because I only limited myself to one bag of chips this week. And I picked these as my bag of chips, obviously. Why would I pick another, any other chip? So these have potatoes, they've got oil, sunflower oil, seasoning blend, poppy seeds, salt, sesame seeds, um, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, sugar, some corn, mouth reduction, sesame oil, and soy left the chis in. I don't know how you say that. Mmm. It's so good. And that's it. That's the haul for the week. I'm no, just kidding. Wow, those are very good. Very addicting. I've never tasted a chip that tastes like that before. This is what we're talking about. Never tasted a chip that tasted this good. It's a new chip you'll, you'll sure, you'll love, a new chip love you'll sure discover. Okay, that's interesting verbiage, but <clears throat> very good. Very good. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I picked these up again. These I tried and sampled. You guys probably saw the review from last week. These are the Amped Up Almonds. I'm going to do this because I like, um, oh, this would have been easier than last week. Um, I like the, the contrast of salty and sweet, and if I have an opportunity to do it, I'm going to do it. So, don't mind me. Damn, drop! But isn't that such an aggressive, like, way to market almonds? Like, the word amp to me, and maybe it's just me, really takes on a whole new meaning. Like, when I think amped, like, very rarely do I get amped up. And, like, they made almonds that amp you up. So, here we go. Um, I'm now amped up for this haul. Um, vegan taco salad kit. Chipotle station, pico de gallo, purple tortilla chips, and a spicy jalapeno ranch salad dressing. This is a brand new salad kit, which I love. Growing up, taco salads were one of my favorite things in the entire world. Um, what I'm most about excited about this taco salad is they've got a vegan jalapeno ranch in here. And it's made with canola oil, water, jalapeno peppers, brown rice syrup, apple cider vinegar, pea protein, isolated sugar, sea salt, white gum. So a couple other things, but the point is the, the dressing doesn't have any of my um, mild allergies in it, which I love, and it's a ranch dressing. Um, I will be removing the station from here because station is made with wheat gluten and I can't do that. So we're going to have to donate this to someone I know that's vegan, which I know a handful of them. So I'm very excited to try this um, and I just love salad kits. Mind you, this week everything I got, like it's not a full haul for me even though it was $106, which 30 of that was flowers, which we'll get into, um, because I'm having these meal kits delivered to me and I'm trying them out. Um, so everything I'm getting is more of like an accessory, but the meal kits are only five days a week. So there's two days a week where I can go wild and get amped and stuff like that. Um, I picked up two apples because at nighttime, first of all, honey crisp apples are ginormous. But at nighttime, I like to cut these in half and then I'll like cut it in fourths and depending on 
how hungry I am. Sometimes my fourth is like three fourths. Um, and then I dip them in almond butter. Uh, that's like my, like lately that's my treat. So, um, two Honeycrisp apples. Let's see if that doesn't fall. Um, I picked up some lemons for my lemon water. So the new routine that I'm, I'm trying, I just try and be really efficient in the morning. Like that's very important for me because I'm kind of like, in the morning my brain's not turned on all the way. I'm running on autopilot. And so I love my water in the morning. So I do half squeeze, um, lem half squeeze lemon and water. Um, I use this guy to squeeze it um, to lemon water. And then I've been using like, before I was using my athletic greens, which is my greens powder, I'll put a link to it, in a separate cup of water, but that was a lot. There was just a lot of drinking going on in the morning. So now I mix it in with my lemon water. It's so good. So I got my lemons. I've also got um, wild skipjack tuna, great for a snack. Love these. They're only 90 calories and they're just the right size. Like, they're perfect for snacking. They're also great. Boo, no. Boo doesn't, he's adding in commentary. These are also great if um, you're gonna have a lunch, but maybe like a big salad. So you can just like add more on, but these are my favorites. Um, strawberries, so you guys know, um, I love Magic Spoon. This isn't from Trader Joe's, but this is just like, this, like I, it's my cereal. It's, it's my cereal for life, guys. Um, anyways, I'll put a link to Magic Spoon too, but I, the reason I'm, I'm hugging a box of cereal is because I love how it tastes when I put these dried strawberries in it. Um, I also got freeze-dried blueberries and I tried them both and I found I was most excited in the morning when I was putting the freeze-dried strawberries in it. So, picked up another bag of those. They're great. Um, someone tagged me in the mashed cauliflower um, on one of their posts. I don't remember who, I just like saw it. And I was like, why have I not made the mashed cauliflower yet? So I got it. Um, it's a product of France. It does have um, milk in it. So if you're dairy free or vegan, this won't be for you. But if you're like me and you're just vegan-ish and you can do dairy, then give this a try. So one cup is 50 calories um, and there's four servings in here. So not bad at all. So what is that? 200 calories for a whole bag of mashed cauliflower. Yes. I will do that all day. Um, I picked up some more organic red lentils. Sadani me. Um, as, as a gluten-free person, um, for the most part, I love this pasta. It is filling. I love that, it, like, even if you're not gluten-free, um, try red lentil pasta because it, the lentils give you a big boost of protein. Um, so 15 grams of protein and three-fourths a cup. And I have, like, a double that size when I eat pasta. So I'm getting 30 grams of protein with my pasta. I love that. Fills you up. This is also just like, it's just so yummy to make. I I love it. I love it. I know there's like true Italians out there that would be like, it's not real pasta, but we've come a long way, guys. We've come a long way. Like gluten-free stuff used to be like gross. So good. Speaking of things that are gluten-free and delicious, cauliflower gnocchi. It feels like just yesterday they came out with this, but it's not. Um, this stuff's also very, very, very good. I recommend to everyone, do not read the directions. The only way to eat this is to air fry it. So air fry it 350 degrees for like 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how crispy you want them, and then put your favorite sauce on them. Um, I find that if you follow the directions on the pack, it's gonna get really like mushy and sticky and you're just gonna, you're gonna wanna throw it out. Um, another idea for this is air fry it, like I, I mentioned, and then put it into your favorite soup. And then it's kind of like cauliflower gnocchi dumpling soup. Um, just an idea. Lots of fun things you can do with the cauliflower gnocchi. The internet is ripe, ripe with ideas. Ooh, this is, this is new. Um, the spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. Uh, this looks very good. I'm eager to jump into this. Tomatoes, tricolor bell peppers, and jalapenos. Full of flavor. Um, it does have, I believe, corn. Does it? Cauliflower, red bell peppers, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, don't think it does. Looks awesome. I'm very excited to get into that. Those are bell peppers that I see. Um, yeah, this will be great. Because sometimes there's a, a place in town that I order from, like, a, like I'll make a burrito. Um, at, like a... It's a long story, I'm not gonna get into the details of my burrito. But anyways, I subbed out their um, rice cauliflower the other night, it was really good. So I like that this is kind of like spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. That's, 
that's gonna be good and I can't sample that because it's cold and then it, we wouldn't do anyone favors if I just sampled that but when I do cook it I promise I'll do a post and let you guys know how I like it um, speaking of things someone tagged me in the zoog sauce which I haven't had in a while but it is awesome it has cilantro oil cilantro canola oil jalapeno peppers chili flakes garlic cardamom card a mom sea salt cumin seed this is this is just good on like white rice um, it's also good you can put it on like um, make chicken put it on top this is just it's full of flavor lights up your taste buds um, and you won't regret it there's a lot of ideas um, and if you have any suggestions on how you enjoy having the zoog sauce drop it in the comments and I'll pin it to the top um, okay let's get into my milks I picked up some organic almond beverage here we go this is the this is the remember I do the backup one I always have a backup all right all right I also keep my water bottles up there and there's quite a few of them uh, ooh. you guys excited for this so this is the citrusy garlic seasoning blend and we're just gonna try it so this like did very well. I posted it and a lot of people liked it. I think we've been looking forward to something like this. Garlic, citric acid, onion powder, salt, lime oil, lime juice, red pepper, bay leaves, coriander powder, cumin powder, ground black pepper, rice concentrate, bittersweet orange oil, oregano, cilantro, basil, lemon oil, marjoram, and parsley. Marjoram always reminded me of like a, a the name of a, like a mom, marjoram. Okay, we're gonna put on the big spoon. Okay, big spoon. This is okay. I get <laughs> this is a smell test, but I wanted to smell it. I just didn't want to over smell it and then have seasoning spice go up my nostrils. That would not be good. Okay, taste test. Mmm, mmm. The things I want to put this on. Oh, there's a bit of a kick. There's something spicy. Remind me what was in here that was spicy? Pepper, cumin, cilantro. Yeah, there was definitely a kick of the pepper, the red pepper. There's red pepper in it. It's very good. Um, I'll try this. Mmm. Uh, all these things are flooding my mind right now. We, you could put these on like you could put this on shrimp, on like um, a, a white fish. You could also put this on your garbanzo bean croutons when you make them. Um, wow. Mmm. This is very good. Very 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 good. It's definitely. You put it on your rice and your black beans if you're making like a cumin style, cumin, cumin, cumin style dish. Uh, it's very bright and it's a, it says a bright citrus allium and blend with salt. Allium? I have no idea what that means. And it's two palm trees on the front hugging. I'm assuming that's kind of what these, all these flavors are doing to my taste buds. Okay. We're going to set you down over time. I was excited. They, they didn't have the Zazatar, the Zazatar. I don't know how to say it, uh, spice up my Trader Joe's yet, but maybe next week. Um, more amped up almonds. Those are so good. I do like to have them like right after um, like lunch. They're just like one or two. Just amps me up the right amount. Um, this is brand new. Um, grated Parmesan Romano. So this isn't, this isn't even like a special thing. And most supermarkets have them, but Trader Joe's just got it, so it's a pretty big deal. Um, we are gonna just go ahead and put some of this on my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a chip. Here, let's. Here, I'm gonna put this. This isn't gonna work. This is gonna make a mess. Uh oh. We already got a couple jumpers. Okay. So we put it on a chip. This this isn't what it goes on. Maybe, maybe this is how you eat it at home. Certainly not the way I would eat it, but okay. I also want an excuse to eat a chip again. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say I hate it. I'm not gonna say putting Parmesan cheese on a chip is a bad thing. Maybe I'm gonna do it more. It's 2021, new year, new me. That is good. <laughs> Just gonna go back for seconds. I love Parmesan cheese. I put on everything. This is perfect for putting it on pizzas. Um, and it spells out really clearly that it's gluten free for all you that wanted to know. Um, okay. Okay. That's good stuff. 
A simple thing. Okay. I think I mentioned last week, I'm very into these acai bowls lately. I get them on the weekend, and yes, I can make them, but there's something special about having one made for you as a treat. Like, made it through the weekend. I usually do it after like a big workout. I'll go get one. And the place by my house doesn't put like, they can only put um, almond butter on top of it as like a side. It's like $3. So anyways, I want cashew butter on my acai bowl. So I picked up cashew butter from Trader Joe's. For whatever reason, I couldn't find it. it took me forever to find the cashew butter. And I finally found it. And I have a lot of butters, nut butters at my house right now because I've, I've got the almond butter, the original one, the new organic one. Just like most um, cashew butters, you've got to, don't worry, I'm not taking like a six tablespoon bite, but like how, C cashew butter is like, it's like the Lamborghini of nuts. Like the, the butter it makes is like, it is, it's special. I, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here because <laughs> there's an awful lot. I really just want like, I, I just want a small bite. We're going to, we're going to do this. We're going to get the small, the baby spoon. Okay. Just going to brush this off. Sorry. This is, this is a very fine tuning moment. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Mm. Mm hmm. So good. Love cashews. Mm. What? Well, it's very difficult to talk once you put any sort of nut butter in your mouth. I need to drink something very quickly. Um, that this is good. And it has so it's dry roasted cashews, sunflower oil, salt. And it may contain one percent or less of almonds or pistachios. So keep that in mind. It's okay. It can put a little sprinkle of almonds, pistachios. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna be putting that on my acai bowl when I bring it home. Now I need to drink something. Oh, we're not even done. Take a hunk of crusty bread, dip it in olive oil, and then ducka. Ducka. Someone else mentioned that this is back, and what is ducka? It's almonds, sesame seeds, fennel seeds, coriander, anise seeds, kosher salt. So, I like that they give you tips on how to eat it. I think you can also, like, I wonder if you can bread things with it. Like, could you put it on top of a... Oh, it's kind of interesting. The fennel gives it a really interesting smell. It gives it the smell of fennel. It kind of looks like my mom has chickens. It kind of looks like um, the seed I throw to the chickens. Um, here we go. I'll show you. See? Kind of see? It's really pretty. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. It's what I'm doing. Mmm. Whoa. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Hello. It's a savory treat that enlivens a hunk of oil drenched bread like you wouldn't believe. It's also great as a crust for chicken, fish, and for seasoning vegetables. Didn't I just say that? Put it on a crust of something. Yeah. This is this is awesome. The fennel and the nice seeds. Like, it gives a flavor in your mouth that you typically don't find during the week. Unless you're constantly dealing with fennel and anise seeds, but wow, that's special. Definitely, definitely pick this up if you see it. I am so excited to crust something with this. I just need to figure out what. What am I going to crust it with? Oh, and then last but not least, in this bag, we've got my oat beverage. And the only thing I'm wanting now is for an organic oat beverage that frosts. Not that this is bad, but someone sent me a scary... DM about like non-organic oats and then I was like oh I hope that's not true so anyways if it is true please but if it's not what am I gonna do still buying it so here here we are oh <clears throat> as a snack I picked up some <laughs> what a fun snack picked up some roasted broccoli with olive oil sea salt <clears throat> and black pepper so 
this isn't a fun snack, right? It's a healthy snack. I do love um, broccoli, but I thought it'd be easy just like to throw these in my air fryer because some of these meals that are coming just like aren't, they're the type of things that you're like, oh, well, that's going to fill me up, but then you eat it and you're like, dang it, how'd that fill me up? So in case I don't get full, then I'm just gonna de jump into these. Um, and I got the I got the green beans last week, and those are good. So going for the roasted broccoli. I picked up two avocados because they were displayed next to the everything but the bagel chips. So I got those. They're not ripe yet. Um, and then we're gonna go through my thirty dollars of flour. Excuse me. So what I'm gonna do. I got all of these, which are just like, I, apparently I like a co these colors because they're kind of all the same. I'm going to put the roses, I'm going to like trim them down and pull off all their green bits and put them into like a circular vase. Someone said they unfollowed me because I called it a vase. I'm like, the okay vase. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put these into a circular vase. <laughs> And I just kind of want that like really full look, but I'm gonna mix them up. I'll, I'll take a picture and show you. And then I got these big ones to put like on my dining table. Um, I just like the bright colors, they're happy. Lots of put the happiness in my life, please. Um, and that's it. That is it. That is the haul this week. That's $106. Um, well worth it. Obviously, like the winner. I'm gonna have two winners this week of my favorite because these are, I was very excited to try because all week people were freaking out about these. Um, but this was like the, the, like the quiet winner too, the Ducca. Like, am I saying it right? Ducca? Quack? Ducca? Um, a Ducca, Ducca. Uh, <laughs> somewhere else. But these are so good. Both of these are great. Um, so yeah, everything but the bagel is my favorite kettle cooked potato chips and the daca. Um, so that's it. I'm going to put all this away. You guys have a good weekend um, or week. Whatever day you're watching this, have a good thing, whatever that is. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.